8, 10, 18 wheels, trucks transport most of what we use and consume daily. You've got to respect them. They're the undisputed giants of the road. Fabricating these massive trucks requires many highly complex steps, since the parts are usually heavy and tricky to handle. Assembly begins by fabrication of the bearing frame, the main part on which will rest the truck's cab, the motor, and the transmission. They begin by assembling these tempered steel stringers, beams varying in length between 7.5 and 13 meters. The chassis is made as a huge Meccano set. The stringers are solidly attached together with nuts and bolts and tightened with powerful pneumatic tools. Once assembled, the main chassis is transported to another stage of construction. Now they're going to install the mechanical parts. They start with the differential, the axle, and the springs leaves. The brake mounts are then put in place. The plates installed in the mounts allow the truck to brake. They install the wheel hub onto which the wheels will be attached. Then the transmission shaft is inserted which will power the driving wheels. They then finish the rear wheel assembly by mounting the heavy brake drum made of cast iron. To facilitate the mounting, everything is assembled upside down. With an overhead crane capable of lifting a 12,000 kilo load, they then turn the part right side up. Next up, the motor propulsion elements. The transmission is bolted to the motor, seen here in yellow. The motor propelling elements comprise the clutch and the transmission installed at the front end of the truck chassis. A truck has between 6 and 10 wheels, 22 inches in diameter. The tire and wheel together weighs about 55 kilos. Because of this heavy weight, the wheels are installed with the help of this powerful tool. This bolt fastener allows tightening of all the wheel nuts at the same time. The mechanical portion is ended, and they now proceed with the cab assembly. This begins with painting. The cab is moved toward the front to facilitate the installation of various components. This worker attaches the support for the horn to the roof of the truck cab. Now for the cab's interior. They begin by installing the dashboard, which weighs about 35 kilos. Following this, they attach all the wires, the turn indicators, the speedometer, and the pedals. The seats are then installed, and the cab work is now all completed. It's bolted onto the chassis. Now for the motor's hood. They finish off with the lights, the exhaust pipe, and the mud guards. The truck is now almost ready to hit the road. They start it up and verify that everything's operating properly, and it's now ready for delivery to the customer. It requires 95 to 100 hours of work to assemble a truck like this. In spite of their 5,000 kilo weight, these trucks can move along at a top speed of 120 kilometers per hour, and they can carry a load of some 28 tons.